I am having like a childhood memories moment right now because I'm in my mom's house, the house that I grew up in. My mom still lives here and I'm waiting for my friends from high school to come pick me up and we're spending the day together. I feel just like being a teenager again because I'm sitting here at my mom's house waiting for them to show up so we can go out and have fun and uh, yeah. It's fun. I'm, I'm really excited about today. You know, usually the videos I post uh, here on the very unofficial travel guides are about cruise ships or theme parks or hotels. And, and I'm sure that probably not even 2,000 people are going to end up watching this video. But to the 2,000 people who watch this, I hope that we can entertain you a little bit today as we go to visit a llama farm. Oh, I've never been to a llama farm. This is not something that's high on my list of things that I thought I would be doing in Minnesota or ever. I have visited a horse farm in Hungary outside of Budapest. I visited a horse farm outside of Budapest on my first river cruise, but I don't exactly know what it is we're gonna be doing at this llama farm, oh. <clears throat> but that's where we're going today. So let's go. Carlson's Lovable Llamas is about a 40-minute drive west of the Twin Cities in Minnesota. You book your visit over their website, and we paid around $17 a person for our afternoon on the farm with all the activities you're about to see. We are arriving at Carlson's Lovable Llamas. Can anybody see some llamas already? Jenny, do you see some? Can we ever talk like this while we're videoing? I'm not talking like that. Oh, they have babies! What's the love? <laughs> Jenny says, I'm not changing my voice. Oh, they have babies! <laughs> we're at the llama farm. Isn't that always the case when you're trying to video something? You're like, you see something cute and then you get your camera out and it's done. Oh, there's one laying on the ground. After we arrived in the parking lot, we took a quick break to put on some sunscreen, donned our matching llama shirts that Jesse got for us, and went to take a quick group picture before starting our adventures. <laughs> Out of the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just look at it. That's the camera. Hey, camera. Hi. Hi. Oh, you smell we're gonna so be, good. We're going to be oh. squinting in the mm, sun. I'm we're, not. We're all like this. <laughs> okay, ready to try to do it without... Okay. <laughs> I can't because I can't open my eyes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> yes, it helps. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Why not somebody else to take a picture too? Okay, okay. Because I'm like, we're, we won't get pictures from him for a while. So well, I want my own pictures. Yeah. I mean, like tomorrow maybe. Yeah. Like, I don't have to send the film away. We will get pictures from him for a while. <laughs> we were met by Evan Carlson, who has been around these llamas all his life and was an excellent and knowledgeable guide. He checked our reservation and then took us down to meet our first group of animals. In this first talk, he presented us a llama and an alpaca and showed us the differences between the two. Yes, llamas and alpacas are not the same thing. If you had shown me an alpaca and told me it was a llama, I would not have known the difference. Evan talked about their body shapes, how they eat, where they typically live, what kind of work they can do, and stuff like that. We got to ask some questions, and then we headed back up the hill to the pasture with the babies. Quick, Jess, what's a new fact you learned about llamas? That they're in the same animal family as camels. Jenny, what's a fact you learned about llamas? That they only have bottom front teeth, and then they have gums, very hard gum in the top. And I learned that they're good guard animals because they're very curious, and they're not afraid to approach predators. Like coyotes. Like coyotes and foxes. Yeah. So there's poop right there. Evan told us the animals are very approachable and are used to being around people and that they love to eat the white flowers. Jenny and Jesse had no problems making friends quickly, but I was a little hesitant. I'm going to touch the baby one. Can I touch you? Nope. Okay. I respect boundaries. They're walking away from me. Okay, go put your hand on that fence for me, okay? Will you just lean on it for a second? 
Yeah. No, that's more tasty. What about you? Do you want some flour? Not interested. Jenny, can you just stand right there so I can get a picture of you in front of the llamas? <laughs> oh, look at she getting kisses from the mommy. Oh, that's cute. Do you want to hold? I do not. Sorry. I don't want. I don't want. It's okay. No, I don't want to. She's chasing me with a llama. Do you want some white flowers? Nope. nope. Do you want some white flowers? <laughs> Even like this part that looks kind of all matted up, it's still super soft. Having a good lunch, nice snack. Oh, sorry, okay. Hi. Give that one, that one likes the white flowers. I picked it just for you. This one's not very long. <laughs> I'm such a wimp. What do you say? The sprinkler's on. Can we jump through the sprinkler? Let's go jump through the sprinkler. Watching the sunset on Tennessee hills I wish I could capture it, I never will They look kind of goofy just with the two Yeah, with the two <laughs> After about 20 minutes of hanging out with the babies and feeding them flowers, we got to pick out an animal to take on a walk all around the farm. Evan told us that they will know that we are non-experienced llama walkers and they'll try to do their own thing, so we shouldn't be shy about pulling them around. He also said llamas do spit, but it's usually at each other and not at people. Hmm, we'll see about that. It's a little intimidating to have this big animal walking behind me. Whoa. Are you guys coming? Oh. <laughs> it's walking faster than I want to walk. And it's looking at me. No, we're going this way. We're going this way. What if it takes off in a gallop? Do I just let it go? I don't know. You're going to have to think fast. Oh, come on. We're, we're moving on. We're past him. Let's pass him. Come on. Come on. What was your name again? I can't remember. We're passing. Come on, buddy. Come on. Pacemaker. That's who you were. Come on, pacemaker. Uh oh. Okay. We're done. I'm holding the camera and now she's moving. Come on. I think. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, honey. <laughs> you <laughs> held that in for oh, way honey. too long. Oh, honey. <laughs> Good job. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. let's leave that behind. Okay, you, you will stay on here. We, we have the... Take him closer to his... Okay. Come up face. here, please. Do it Come quick because we have it. Let me try to switch. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just here. Oh. <laughs> Don't... Here. All okay. right, everybody smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Let go of my animal. Of course, you're just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Lama. We should do another one of those turned around, though. Oh. We just cannot make any progress here. It's a good thing we're not trying to get anywhere quick. You guys understand each other way better than we do. You got it, right? No, it this doesn't get go. zapped this right way. in the neck. Here we go. Here. Everybody looking, look happy. <laughs> Wait. Their llama's face is in double. <laughs> 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 okay.
Okay. No pictures. <laughs> you got it, didn't you? <laughs> ew, ew. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. It went in front of me. I don't think it landed on me. It was me. also oh, just kind of a so mist either. and not like a big loogie okay. that got hot. This was, I saw it. I saw my <laughs> life flash. <laughs> All right, let's not try to do that again. I think I'm my fine. llama was done. My llama's like, oh, mine's, no. look at Mine's like a glamour shot llama. <laughs> Watch. Professional. Jesse and her llama clearly understand each other better than we do. Very good. Okay, stop now. <laughs> Hi. Okay, don't do that. I can't believe how well she listens. We almost made it till the end of the trail. There's oh, but there's lots of poop. I they poop or chocolate raisins? <laughs> I don't know. Try one and let us know. Could be chocolate covered peanuts. I think they're cookie dough bites. Cookie dough bites, yes. At Valley Fair in one of the shops, they had one and a half pounds of cookie dough you could buy. Oh Here, this is where we should take a picture. Right yes. Here. yes. Ah! Yeah, yours is just like, I'm ready for my shot. Yes. Here we go, picture time. Picture He's got time. picture time. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I think we got it. Awesome. Once we finished our stroll around the farm, Evan asked us if we wanted to brush the animals and give them a final snack, which of course we did. Take this one. I need two brushes. <laughs> You want to get brushed? May I? Oh. Oh, you like that? Llama Beauty Salon. You have to brush it a uh, hundred might... times a day. Ninety-nine hundred. Now you're again. Oh. This part of their body looks like a lion, doesn't it? It has something cat-like to it and not, it doesn't seem like a, you know, like a llama or a camel. It looks more like a big cat. I think you can tell that the three of us had such a fun, funny day at the farm. And like I said, I never would have thought to do something like this, but special thanks to Jenny who picked it out because it was a great way to hang out and do something different together. And I know it's something we're gonna talk and joke about now for the next 30 years. Thanks again for sticking around for this somewhat different video here on the Very Unofficial Travel Guides. Make sure you hit like before you go and I hope to see you back here soon. Bye.